Hello, this is Peter from First Maths. Today we are looking at the Year 5, Lock 2, Assessment Paper 1, which is a non-calculator paper. Answers after each question. Are we ready? Let's go. Question 1. Write the number that should go in the empty box. Three times something in brackets plus four equals 19. Six times something in brackets plus one equals 25. Something in brackets times five, take away one, is 19. Eight times six in brackets, take away something, is 45. Nine times nine, and brackets plus something equals 83. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are A. 3 times 5 15 plus 4 equals 19. B. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 25. 4 times 5 is 20. Take away 1, 19. D. 8 times 6 is 48. Take away 3, 45. E. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 2 is 83. Let's look at the next question. Question 2. Write the number that should go in the empty box. A. Something times something plus 2 equals 23. B. In brackets. Something times something plus 4 equals 29. C. In, in brackets. Something times something plus 1 equals 64. D, in brackets, something plus something, and then out of the brackets, take away 1, equals 15. And E, in the brackets, something plus something, and then out of the brackets, minus 10, equals 26. Pause the video until you are ready for the answers. Here come the answers. No, the question. Here can, yeah, the answers. Let's have a look. The answers are, I've done it in two ways, because this, if this is the original answers and this makes it easier to see. So, 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 equals 23. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4, 29. 6 times 7 is 63, plus 1 is 64. And then D, any two numbers added to make 16. And E, any two numbers added to make 36. Okay, let's look at the next question. Question 3. Write the number that should go in the empty boxes. 60 plus 60 equals something. 2 times 180 equals something. E is 2 times something equals 100, 540. B over here, 130 plus 130 equals something. And D, 2 times something equals 340. Pause the video until you are ready for the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are 60 plus 60 equals 120. B, 130 plus 130 equals 260. 2 times 180 equals 360. 2 times 170 equals 340. 
2 times 270 equals 540. Let's look at the next question. Here comes the next question. Question 4. Round these decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are 9.6 rounds up to 10. 11.8 rounds up to 12. 9.4 rounds up to 19. 109.6 rounds up to 110. 229.2 .2 rounds up to 229. Let's look at the next question. Question 5. Round these amounts of money to the nearest pound. £3.98, £5.48, £12.51, 98p, £29.5. and Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are £3.98 rounds up to £4. £5.48 rounds up to £5. £12.51 rounds up to £13. £68p rounds up to £1. £29.5p rounds to £29. Question 6. Complete the table. What is the equivalent decimal to each fraction? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are 3 quarters is the same as 0 0.75. 1 hundredth is 0 0.01. 86 hundredths or 43 fiftieths is the same as 0 0.86. 1 and a quarter is 1.25. 12 and 3 tenths is 12.3. 92 hundredths, 46 fiftieths, or 23 twenty fifths equals 0.92. Let's look at the next question. Question 7. Write these numbers in order from the lowest to the highest. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here come the answers. The answers are minus 8, minus 6, minus 2, 5 and 7. Let's look at the next question. Question 8. The temperature at midday was 5 degrees centigrade. At midnight the temperature had fallen by 8 degrees centigrade. What temperature was the temperature at midnight? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are it was minus 3 degrees. Let's look at the next question. Question 9. This is a shape is a square. How many axes of symmetry does each shape have? This has four. So you know it's one. 2, 3, and 4. So how many lines of symmetry does an equilateral triangle have, a rectangle have, and a pentagon have? Pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are a square has 4, equilateral triangle has 3, a rectangle has two, and a pentagon has five. Let's look at the next question. Question 10a. Write the length of these objects in centimeters. Pause the video until you are ready for the answer. Here comes the answer. The answers are 180 millimetres is the same as 18 centimetres. 1 metre 62 centimetres.
centimeters is the same as 162 centimeters. 8.6 meters, 860 centimeters. 2 meters, 2.05 meters is 205 centimeters. 0 0.29 meters, 29 centimeters. Let's look at the next question. Question 10b. It is 1.6 kilometers from the supermarket to Wigan Town Centre. How many meters is this distance? Pause the video until you are ready for the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer was 1,600 meters. Question 10c. Complete the table below. There are about 8 kilometers equal to 5 miles. Pause the video and work out the answer. Here comes the answer. The answers are 8 to 5, that would be 16 to 10, 32 to 20, 80 to 50, 56 to 35. Okay, let's look at the next question. Question 11. How long is the base of this isosceles triangle if you measured it in millimetres? In the box, draw a line 7.3 centimetres long. Start your line at the dot. Pause the video until you are ready to see the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer is, you didn't measure. If using a paper version, it was 43 millimetres. But it could be something completely different if you're measuring it on a whiteboard, on a computer, on your mobile phone screen, etc. Let's have a look at the next question. Question 12. Calculate the perimeter of these shapes. The perimeter of a triangle, if all the sides are 8 centimetres long, is what? The perimeter of a hexagon, if all the sides are 3 centimetres each, is what? The perimeter of the rectangle, which is 15 centimetres on the long side and 8 centimetres on the short side, is what? And then look at B. The perimeter of a square is 18 centimetres. What is the length of each side in centimetres? Pause the video until you've answered all these questions. Here come the answers. The answers are... The perimeter of a triangle is 24 centimetres. Perimeter of a hexagon, 18 centimetres. Perimeter of your rectangle, 46 centimetres. And the perimeter of the square, the size of each side, is 4.5 centimetres. Let's look at the next question. Question 13. Complete this number sequence. 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 1.3. Okay. B. 2.4, 2 1.1, 1.8, 1.5, something. C. 7, 10, something, something, 19. D. 56, 65, something, 83, 92. And E. 1, 4, 9, 16, and something, which is a bit trickier. Okay, pause the video until you are ready to see the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are A, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, 1.1, 1 1.3. B, 2.4, 2.1, 1.8, 1.5, 1.2. C, 7, 10, 13, 16, 90. D. 56, 65, 74, 83, 92. And E. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, because they are square numbers. Let's look at the next question. Question 14, part 1. Answer yes or no to the following. Is 12 divisible by 2? 
Yes. Is 1,937 divisible by 2, the outer remainder? Is 824 divisible by 2? Is 2,004 divisible by 5? Pause the video until you are ready for the answer. Here comes the answer. The answer is yes. 12 is divisible by 2? No. 1937 is an odd number, so it's not divisible by 2. 824 is divisible by 2 because it is an even number. 2004 is not divisible by 5 because it doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. Question 14, part 2. Use these numbers to answer the questions. Write down a number which is divisible by 100. Write down a number which is less than 10 times 15 and is a multiple of 10. Pause the video until you are ready for the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are number divisible by 100, 3,500. 15 times 10 times 15 is 150. So 90 and 110 are smaller than this number and a multiple of 10. Question 15. What is 3.5 times 4? What is 4.3 times 6? What is 7.8 times 5? Pause the video until you are ready for the answers. Here come the answers. The answers are 14, 25.8 and 39. Click on more of my videos. By simply clicking on the middle button, you, you can subscribe to my channel and then click on the notification bell for extra features. You will be one of the first to know when I have uploaded new maths resources. Every one of my maths resources is designed to make maths teaching easier and more fun. To explore more of my first maths channel, please click one of the two videos here. Have fun and love maths. I look forward to seeing you again soon. So have a great day. Bye.